Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be making a kind of short video. The first part of this video is going to be about Terapeak. I've had lots of questions asking how do you get to Terapeak and then I'm going to show you also how I use it. I used it in my most recent videos about the different brands that I've been doing, um, the videos on and so I thought it'd be a good time just to show you how I use it. There's a couple of extra things you can do with it. I, I use it a little bit for that. But then also, um, I've had this box for a little while and I apologize, but I'm making the time along with this video. Um, I had a viewer, Shannon, send me a gift box mystery to me. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and get it opened also so I can... Um, ooh and awe over what she sent me. That's always so exciting. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to change the screen um, to the, the Seller Hub because that's where you need to start when you're going to be looking for Terapeak. In Seller Hub, you see this line of tabs here. You need to go to Research, and then you'll see under there it says Terapeak Products. I'm already on that screen. I'll just go ahead and click it anyway. And then right here, make sure you have this set up so that it says the last 365 days. It shows you one year of um, solds. You can also set it on um, active listings also, but I don't use it for that. The thing is though, when you get into it, anything that's over 90 days, you, cannot, you don't have access to it. You just are able to look at the information on the screen. But anything that has sold in the last 90 days, you'd be able to go look at the listing. So for my example, I'm going to go ahead and use um, what my, the, the Douglas Dog brand. And the thing with Terapeak is you don't want to use a whole lot of keywords. You want to use your basic information. So for me, the brand was Douglas, plush, and then dogs. I'm going to break it down. The only time you'd want to use more is if you're getting search results included that you don't want and want. then you might want to narrow it down to right. something more like a specific brand or not brand but color breed or something or a breed of, yes of dogs I'll click on search and it's i have it automatically set up so that it goes to sold if it starts on actives just change it right here to sold and then it's going to give you a range of information this is going to include the ones that, the, the dogs that sold in that video that I shared with you guys. And it's saying, on average, the selling price for Douglas dog brands is $23. Um, right now, it's going to be showing me examples from $0.99 cents up to the big one that I showed in my video of $1,958. Average shipping, how many were free shipping, how many total sold in the last 365 days, and then the total number of sellers, 1,396, for a total of $108,000. So definitely a brand you want to be on the lookout for. And then right now, I think what it's doing is, yeah, it's giving me the most current ones that have sold. So you can see here the date last sold, July 27th. But for what I normally do is I also want to see what the high prices are. So if you click on this where it says average sold price, it is going to resort it for you. And then here's the high high dollar ones that sold. Here's the Maggie, the Irish setter. Um, and as you can tell right here, when I touch this, it um, changes color and underlines it you can go to that listing from here because it sold in the last 90 days but this one right here it's older it was sold in January so you're not going to be able to look at that but you can at least look at the pictures and see if it's matching what you're looking for but you can also go the other way and look at the cheapest things that sold and I'm only doing this to show you what you should not be doing don't do 99 cent fixed price to me, that seems like maybe it was an accident. They didn't change it to auction. But look how many of these 99 cent auctions there are. My rule is start your auctions at 
the lowest price that you're willing to take if it only got the one bid because there's a whole lot of 99 one dollar i'm not quite sure why somebody again hopefully that was a mistake because it was a dollar fixed price free shipping but don't do this don't do this all right so let me switch back to my full screen and let's go over this gift box that was sent to me all right i've got it right here All right, I will be careful. Aw, look, you made the the name tag to Rebel and Robert. It's my actual name, not man behind the camera. <laughs> Peanut gallery. <laughs> Chucklehead. Dear Robert and Rebel, I, actually it said Rebel and Robert just so your head doesn't get big. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you do. I hope you like the box. It's not much, but maybe you will find a little treasure or two. All the best from Palm Beach Gardens. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, they're all wrapped up in their own little bags. Okay, a few of them. Anyway. Oh, how cute. Cute, cute, cute. Look. Oh, this is Cascade Toys, and it's a puppet. Look at that. One of my know-alls when I'm looking at stuff very quickly is the tag. You can always tell. This has got one of those nice little cover up my face. Nice tags. You just know it's good quality when it has a good quality tag. Not that the other ones aren't, but look how cute. Love that. That's, oh, see, love the rabbits, especially when they have the carrots. Very cute. This is Hallmark. Excellent. And then this is Hallmark rabbits. Look how cute. This is that soft, soft fabric. Boys, all the things that I normally pick up. This is JB Bean and Associates. How cute. So Boyd's Bears. A lot of these are what I call my bread and butter. Alright, this is I'm trying to see. Oh, Cuddle Me Toys. Oh, Los Angeles. Yeah. Cuddle Me Toys. I think it turned into something else, but I can't remember right off the top of my head. Look how cute. Definitely looks vintage-y to me. But the cuddle is spelled with a K. Oh, I think this goes with that other Boyd's Bear. Look how cute. Because they look very similar in size. Nice. This very much looks like the Pooh Rabbit, but I don't think so. Oh, Peekaboo Toys. Yeah, look how cute, though. Love it. Oh, he's got an angel. I gotta open up his wings. There we go. Very cute. Look how cute this looks like. Either TV trading. All right. See, I was smart this time. I kept my glasses on. You forgot you had them on. Okay, maybe. Main Joy Limited. <laughs> I'm not going to let you lie to people. <laughs> I couldn't find them this morning. In all my normal spots, it wasn't there. I had taken them off down la la here last night and left them on the table. Very cute. I love when they have these bodies that are like they're wearing clothes. Very cute. Oh, again, I feel like she knows me because look, jelly beans. Right, again, I think I can read this one. Oh, Cuddle Me Toys. 
Kelly Toy. That's what it was. That's the original brand for Kelly Toy. It's Cuddle Me Toys with a K. Look how adorable. I know. Alright, I have to cut it. Look, this is one of the knee huggers. I think last year during Christmas, I found two of the monkeys on Facebook Marketplace um, that they had missed labeled. And I picked them up for like 20 bucks. And I want to say I sold them for like $100 or so. But this one is People Pals. I think that's, hold on. I can't see with them out here. But I can't see up close. Jerry Elsner, yeah. I think they're called, oh, Jerry's Pets. Jerry Elsner. Very cool. But he looks like Snoopy. But I don't think he's Snoopy. But he is one of the knee huggers. And they're very highly sought after. So very cute. Thank you. Look, I didn't even show you guys. There's a box. Oh. Dang. She sent me this. How cute. I found the um, movie theater a while back. And I know I mentioned that this is the other part. And you use it with these. These are the cartridges that go in the movie viewer. But you can also put them in here. And then you can turn this and it does your videoing out onto a wall or the movie out on a wall so thank you so much this is definitely going on my wall i'll have to find a good spot for it i'm gonna have to get more spots on the wall i know i'm gonna have to expand my wall somehow some way right there where we have those puzzles we, i could get I a sheet so. of pegboard and put there and then uh you'll have more wall i know but oh this was so nice of you, Shannon. Just look, it's got the gummy bears. It's a plush I love to pick up. And she said, this one says the sticker came off. It's the rescuers. But love this. So thank you very much, Shannon. I, it's like you, you know me. It's like you know me. All right. Let me go ahead and get this closed out. I'm this close to crying. So I'm just going to go. All right, bye.